What's up everybody? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So in today's video we're going to do another aeration and dethatching on a property. This one's going to be a little different than the normal aeration and dethatching videos you guys have seen. On this channel anyways. And really what I mean by that is I'm not going to be using my AgriFab pool behind aerator. Unfortunately this place has a really small backyard. Or at least I should say a really small gate to get in the backyard. It only opens up 48 inches which means even my smallest zero turn mower won't fit in there to pull it. So we're going to have to go rent one of those pain in the butt aerators. And you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've ever used one, it's one of those walk behind aerators. They're a pain in the butt because it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Real quick before we jump into it, I did get slow motion videos just like I did for the other aeration dethatching. In case you guys haven't seen it yet or not, I may have already uploaded them. But anyways, I did get some slow motion footage of it. And you guys will really be able to see in that slow motion how hard packed the ground is, how hard and dry it is. Because you really can't even see the cores being thrown up because of how hard packed and dry. They just disintegrate and it doesn't dig that much of a core because the ground is just, like I keep saying, it's hard, very hard packed and very dry. got that one done that yard was pretty hard packed I mean I put as much water in that as I possibly could to try and poke down in it it just wasn't penetrating the ground quite like it really should it's just real rocky and very hard packed it's the way a lot of the grass is or where like a lot of the yards are out here anyways now that customer had his own seed and he's actually gonna spread it down right after I left and then he's gonna water it and everything so he did already tell me he's gonna hire me again in the springtime as I recommended it to him that we should probably aerate it in the springtime one more time just before the season gets going to maybe try and break that ground up a little bit more and worst case scenario I might have to bring in some topsoil and top dress it or compost it and mix topsoil whatever you want to call it or worst case scenario I might have to you know do a little top dressing on it to try and bring that soil layer up and then we'll aerate after that or on top of that but we'll see what we have to do so anyways just a quick little aerating and deep thatching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.